there is that's left for me is here in this eternity of isolation. Isolation. Hello, it's me. So I've got quite a lot to tell you because there has been some major updates in the Scottish coronavirus handling of the lockdown situation. So England recently started to change some rules. They said what their roadmap, kind of roadmap out of lockdown um, is. And nobody understood what it was, it didn't really make any sense. They were like, go to work, don't go to work, leave your house, don't leave your house, stay alert, whatever. It was literally ridiculous. Um, but Nicola Sturgeon said her version, and it's different than the English version. So I'm not going to explain the English version because I don't even understand what it is. But I'm going to tell you what Scotland is going to do. Because I have opened the website in front of me and I'm literally just going to read it out step by step so that I don't mince my words and ramble and that kind of stuff. So um, basically from the 28th of May, which is in five days, six days, um, they're going to start to introduce really gradual, small changes. Um, and I'm going to tell you what those are. The main thing is that the schools are not going to open. The current plan is that the schools are going to stay closed until after the summer holidays, which is the 11th of August, and then they're going to start to reopen. But that isn't for ages. So the things that are going to change really soon for me and my family and all that kind of stuff. Right. Thing number one. Seeing family and friends. We are planning in this phase to change regulations to permit people to use public outdoor spaces for recreational purposes. For example, to sit in a public space. So that means you can go have a picnic or like sit in a park or whatever. Relaxing outdoors. We are also planning for one household to meet up with another household outdoors in small numbers, including in gardens, but with physical distancing required. So you and your little family can go to your granny's little house family and you can all sit outside in the garden as long as you're two metres apart and you can catch up and that's fine. That's good. Point number two, getting around. Consistent with the reopening of workplaces set out in this phase where homeworking is not possible, Businesses and organisations are encouraged to manage travel demand through staggered start times and flexible working patterns. You'll also be permitted to travel short distances for outdoor leisure and exercise, but advice to stay within a short distance of your local community and travel by walking, cycling, and it says wheel. I don't know what that means. Travel by, maybe they mean like roller skating? What travel by walk, wheel, and cycle? I mean cars. Nah, I don't. Anyway, don't understand. Moving on. International border health measures are set to be introduced. Border health. Don't know what that means. Are they going to check people's health when they arrive at the border? From England? Maybe. This could have slightly more information. I think on the twentieth of May they're going to release it. Like. With the whole, all the information, like, you know, and this is just the, like the, this is the outline. Anyway, schools, childcare and other educational settings. We are planning in this phase to change guidance so that staff can return to schools for an increased number of children to access critical childcare provision, including the reopening of child minding services and fully outdoor nursery provision. So that's only for people who are in the critical childcare provision category. So key workers, NHS workers, and vulnerable people. Um, okay, the next stage, working or running a business. They are planning for remote working to remain the default position for those who can. So if that's a non-essential business, you're still supposed to be doing remote working. Um, they're preparing for the safe reopening of the housing market. They're preparing like big offices for physical distancing and hygiene practices um, and they're preparing outdoor workplaces but they're not going to reopen them yet that's just in this stage they're just allowing some people in so they can set up the workplaces to make them safe for people to work in the office or the building site or wherever it is that you work next stage Ooh, uh, oh my god i just lost my page the next stage was 
shopping, eating and drinking out. In this phase, we are planning the gradual opening of drive through food outlets, as well as the reopening of garden centres and plant nurseries with physical distancing. Associated cafes, e.g. in garden centres, should not reopen at this stage except for takeaway. All right, next one. Sport, culture and leisure activities. We are planning to allow unrestricted outdoor exercise, adhering to distancing measures and non-contact outdoor activities in the local area, such as golf, hiking, canoeing, outdoor swimming, angling, consistent with the wider rules and guidance applicable to any activity in this phase. So that means me and Paul can go swimming again in the outside. We did that one time already, but it was a really shite swim because it was so cold we just stood in the water and then got back out again. But there's this place that we really want to go back to. It's like my favourite place, so... That would be exciting and it's so soon and it's really hot as well. So, uh, Community and public services. We are planning gradual resumption of key support services in the community. Uh, restarting face-to-face -face children's hearings, which are really important. And greater direct control for social work and support services with at-risk groups and families. Good. We are planning the reopening, which this is the most exciting one. I literally have never felt so old in my entire life that I'm so excited about this. They're going to reopen household waste centers like the dump is gonna open again the actual dump is gonna open again and literally there's so much rubbish in this house i cannot i'm so excited our garden change forever the kitchen i don't even i've not even decided what i'm gonna throw away yet but i'm gonna throw some stuff away we are gonna be the first people in that queue at that dump at six o'clock in the morning i'm literally so excited okay court and tribunal buildings are gonna open um Gatherings and occasions. In this phase, we are expecting no public gatherings except for meetings of two households and then only outdoors and with physical distancing. So no gatherings, no occasions. No birthday parties. Sorry, Josie, and no birthday parties for you. Get on my level. This is not a birthday party place. Health and social care. They're going to restart NHS services covering primary and community services, including mental health. Oh, good. That's so important. Oh. Also, they're going to reopen emergency dental hubs and practices and urgent elective treatments. Oh, they're going to resume some elective treatments like IVF treatment, eye care, dental. That's good because I've our family's experienced immediate dent. Like Rachel had a dental emergency not too long ago and my friend Lindsay had an op optical emergency. What do you call that? She had an eye emergency. She went blind in one eye. It's I don't think it's even fixed yet. It's really bad. It's not totally like it's not like totally black blind, but it's like blurry, um, and it kind of painful. It's not right anyway. She needs a a full on head scan, but they're not doing it right now because they're like that's not an emergency. But like, what she's got a brain tumor? That's an emergency, and it happens. You know, I know people with that. It's not good. Um, right, right, they're going to try and retain GP services, um, they're going to consider the introduction of designated visitors to care homes and the test and protect system will be available across the country. I think that's like the contact tracing thing, where they test you and then they trace who you're in contact with and then like they tell anyone who's been near you if you've tested positive to, to start isolating. Yeah, anyway. Okay, that's it. And then it talks about stage two, but I'll not explain all stage two until we have reached that time and God only knows when we're going to get to the next stage. So yeah, I tried to keep that as brief as I can, but it's all a little bit complicated. It's a big update. Anyway, I'm going to go now and I will see you again in a couple of days. Bye-bye.